Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com, and this is your Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by Data Color, who are asking the question, not color calibrated? What are you waiting for? From now until April 9th, you can save big on the Spider 5 Pro, Spider Checker, Spider 5, Capture Pro, and the Spider 5 Studio, which comes in this sweet briefcase. For more info, head on over to datacolor.com slash pro. First up, we start with a sad story from the photo community. Chuck Westfall has passed away. Some of you may have never heard of Chuck, but he certainly had a hand in the direction digital cameras have gone over the past 20 years. Chuck worked for Canon as a technical representative and advisor. This meant anytime there were questions about a Canon camera, he was the guy to speak with. He spoke with a soft, comforting tone no matter what you asked him. He would speak with you for as long as you needed to make sure you got the answer you desired. He was the guy on the other end of the phone or in person showing you something super top secret. He was a great person to work with and he will be missed. Next up, has the FAA banned doors off helicopter flights after the crash from a few weeks ago? Well, the answer to that question is no, not for fully. The FAA said via their Twitter, the FAA will order no more doors off operations that involve restraints that can't be released quickly in an emergency. So that doesn't exactly mean there won't be doors off flights anymore. You can still fly with doors off as long as you can easily remove the restraint or seat belt. Now, as I mentioned in the past, we have flown doors off without additional restraints and could quickly, if needed, undo the belt. Pre-flight, we were warned not to lean into the belt because because if the latch does come undone for some reason, you could fall out. I'm sure this is just the beginning of new safety regulations from the FAA and we'll keep you updated as they're announced. Continuing on, do you want to be a filmmaker? Steven, I want to be a filmmaker. Can I be a filmmaker? No. Hmm. Well, if you said yes, unlike Steven telling me no, Nikon has the perfect thing for you, introducing the Nikon D850 Filmmaker Kit. The kit includes the D850, a 21.8, 3518, and an 8518. On top of that, you will get an Atomos Ninja Flame recorder, a crappy ME1 shotgun microphone, Steven should have been a Rode, the not so easily hideable MEW1 wireless mic, and an extra battery. The kit will set you back 54 99, which isn't that bad considering if you bought everything separately, it would cost you $6,300. Now we know most people don't take Nikon seriously when it comes to shooting video, but maybe people should. We're actually filming this photo news fix with the D850 and we've also used it for a ton of videos on the channel. It's a D850. The one place Nikon video falls short is autofocus. Now if you're looking for the camera to do all the focusing for you, this might not be the kit for you. But if you're using a follow focus rig or doing interviews, this will be a very nice setup. What do you think? Let me know. And finally, have you ever dreamed of getting the cover photo of a fashion magazine? I know I have. Did you ever consider paying for the privilege of getting that cover photo to the tune of $430? By the way, Steven, the normal price is $860. Yep, so you're getting a deal. That's right, a publication no one's ever heard of called Sheba Magazine. What do they do, take pictures of cats? is taking submissions for their next cover photo. If you're interested, here's what you need to do. Fill out the front cover application form that asks for your name, position, online portfolio, and list of credits. Then attach a low res file and agree to pay $430 via PayPal if your submission is selected for the front cover. Now, as you might have imagined, Sheba is getting a lot of pushback on this idea. Here's what they wrote on their Facebook page, and I quote, just wanted to remind you that we do not charge or take any fees to be published in our magazine. The only paid option is a front cover position. Wait, so it says, do not charge, followed by, but we do charge for the front cover. Great job, Sheba. Meow. So I dug a little deeper into their website and found a way you can get published for even cheaper than $430 by pretending you're an advertiser. That's right, you can get the back cover of the magazine for only a hundred bucks. Meanwhile, get the inside front cover for only $70 or get this, 
the front cover for $330, which is subject to strict review. So that means I can save $100 by simply buying the front cover. Hey Steven, I just submitted this photo for the next cover. You think they'll pick it? Well, I certainly hope they do. Now my question to you is would you ever pay to have your image published in a magazine? Yes or no and why? Let me know down below. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last photo news fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and all that good stuff. And that is where I'll leave it. Jared Polin, Photo.com. See ya.